we need hydroponics, but we don't want to look like dicks. Welcome back everyone to another episode of Mass Effect Andromeda. Ah, in the last episode we finally, well, we've, after activating the third monolith on Havaro, finally activated the vault on Havaro. It is now receding its savagery. Mm -hmm. All the vegetation and plants have now reverted slightly. It's not going to overtake the whole planet. Nice. In today's episode, also, uh, we are now going to be heading to the Nexus, and then also probably head to Eos to see if the atmosphere there is good, and also to look at, uh, look at um, those Asari refugees from the Asari Ark. Mm -hmm. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode. Alright, everyone, here we are. Uh, there's actually quite a few side quests I can do here. And, uh, yeah. See you when I begin doing those side quests. Oh, seems like we got ourselves protesters. Seems quiet for now. Look, Jonesy. I know. This isn't what I signed up for either. Let's check this out. Hey, Pathfinder. You're with the militia, right? What's going on in there? A crowd of people in hydroponics and they won't leave. They're disrupting operations. Might get nasty. Can you talk to them? Sure, yeah, can do. Also, I'm heading over there too. What the hell? Do I, uh. Plan before Chromis. Hey, what's going on? Yeah. That's your new galaxy. Making speeches about some fresh start while your kids stay frozen. And it's all thanks to your Pathfinder. Excuse me? We've waited months for our families to come out of stasis. They should have gone to your outpost. But since you think research is so important, military <laughs> personnel got bumped down the list. Like my clan, brothers. All the reassignments mean they're in ten different colony blocks oh, wait. now. Oh. And my mother just got caught in the middle. Oh, no. I have to make a choice. We only had resources for one outpost, so I focused on the skills we needed most. Yes. And what we need is our families back. Maybe you could still make this right. I just want mom out of stasis. That's all anyone here wants. You do stasis revivals. You can tell our leaders you're opening those pods. Today. Well, the situation's different. I authorize whole colony blocks or a few emergency revivals. I can't wake dozens of random people. We don't care whose finger pushes the button. If you can't, our leaders can. And if you tell them, they will. I'll talk to them, but... Okay. Yeah. I'll talk to the leadership about what we can do. Yeah. 14 months of promises. It's time for some results. Also, Try I got more than so much shirt again. She ignored us. Screw her. Start with Kandros. He sent those 10 soldiers over there. Maybe he'll take us seriously. <laughs> okay, Plan but before that, I'm course. heading over to a bar. To meet up with Gil and also a uh, new alcohol. I can taste. Test. Hey. Those look horrifying. Dutch will love them. Hey, Dutch. Gonna fix me up you a again. drink? Oh, I mean... Hello. Welcome to my lab. Bar. Whatever. Oh, Dutch. Look at you. Getting all used to things. Things are fine. It's people I don't like. They talk back. You're irresistible. <laughs> Serve more drinks. <laughs> Let's see this. Maybe they can't resist your charm. I hadn't thought of that. Wait. You're messing with me, aren't you? I would never. Right. <laughs> Here. Have a drink. Rotten scoundrel. Hey, now. The drink. Not you. <laughs> Wait the hell? I got no drink in my hand. No. 
What the hell, Andromeda? How could you? A Gil. So, Ryder, big news. I think I found my purpose in life. Oh yeah? What's that? Uh, thrashing you at poker? Shall I deal? Ryder, I can read Gil's vital signs and give you an advantage during the game if you like. <laughs> yes. Do it. The Pathfinder has spoken. <laughs> Ooh, were you holding out on me? You're pretty good at this. Don't act so surprised. Poker's lost me several friends over the years. The only one who still plays me is my buddy Jill. I, I know, I know, Jill and Gil. <laughs> Not the type to give up, huh? Never. She'll be with me to the bitter end. Come what may. Jill's a fatality expert. Heads the initiative CRC. My only real friend from back home. I bet oh. 50. I call. The CRC? Colonial Repopulation Committee. She's always teasing that I'm making her job harder. Says if I'm not making babies, I'm part of the problem. We have that kind of relationship. The hurtful kind? Hmm. Sounds kind of disrespectful. It doesn't bother you? Nah, she's like family. Supports me unconditionally. We just ride each other like that. You should meet her. You'll see. She's amazing. Another hundred. He's nothing. <laughs> I call. Oof, nice. That one's yours. Well, the winning streak's over. You beat me, Ryder, fair and square. Guess I continue searching for my true purpose in life. <laughs> I can tell him the truth. Gil, listen. Wish I could say that was skill, but I was getting help from Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of figured. Pretty obvious, actually. You mad? Hell no. The day I can beat you with Sam helping is the day I become all-powerful. Oh Jill God. predicted you'd be my downfall. Wait till I tell her you're a cheat. Ouch. Have fun. And thanks for the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks for the game. Nice. Hey, that's right. We forgot we got some more memory uh, fragments. Right. Uh, something. One yeah. of your father's memories is available. Play it. Play the memory. Let's see it. This memory is from when your parents returned to Earth after your mother was diagnosed with her disease. <gasps> it's simple. We take Sam. Who? I named the AI. Simulated Adaptive Matrix. Sam. We use your research and interface Sam with an implant. Um, my work on biotic implants was yielding results, but this... I don't know. What did the doctor say? Alec. What did he say? It's getting worse. There's your oh. answer. Oh no. This will work. Sam can fix you. Alec, I'm not some war you have to win. You're not an N7 anymore. That doesn't oh. mean we- They kicked you out of the Alliance for this. We're talking about your life. Alec, did you ever consider that maybe it's my time to go? I'm human. We die. It happens. Ellen, please. Losing you is not an option. The kids aren't gonna lose their mother. God knows they never had a father. Then give them one. They just ask for a refund. <laughs> so can this Sam talk yet? Hello, Ellen. Why did the tree go to the dentist? Um... To get a root canal. <laughs> Humor algorithms. I can't seem to get the hang of it. Or maybe it's the guy teaching them? <laughs> Dad jokes. That felt so real. Mom was right there, alive. It was the first time I met Alan. My education on human mortality began that day. Oh. Your mother seemed prepared to die. Hmm. But Dad wasn't ready. Mom was just trying to prepare him. Even though all human beings one day expire. Yeah, but when it's someone you love, it's not that cut and dry. I'm beginning to understand where your father's resolve came from. Private audio logs are now available in your father's okay, quarters. Cool. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll keep working on it. Yep. That's all for now. Of course. And on to look at those... Uh, what do you got? Um, blogs. 
And look at them wood logs. Your father's personal logs. Yes. Sound development. Okay. Give me that, Alec. <laughs> We've heard enough of you talking. Right. So, here's the irony. My research on biotic implants and ESO caused this stupid disease. But maybe it'll oh. save me, too. No maybe about it. Hey, <laughs> this is my secret log. Anyway, the right type of implant joined with the right type of AI could actually bolster human physiology. Even as the disease is trying to kill me, the implant and Sam are counteracting it, keeping things balanced. Result? I get to hang around a little longer. Maybe collect on all those anniversary dinners this guy owes me. <laughs> nice. The Geth mystic. As a Quarian and historian, how do you view your people's reaction to the Geth? Well, we banned artificial intelligence, which was understandable, but that was digging a hammer to a rather delicate nail. Which was what? The very thing that sparked the revolt. The first Geth who asked us, Creator, does this unit have a soul? But how could it have a soul? Geth had no meaningful perceptions of the world or diversity of experiences we take for granted. Worse, the Geth saw us as the Creator. The revolt was inevitable. We were their superiors. And they resented it. Did they? They didn't. They just wanted to know if the unit had a soul. And continue helping the Orient. That's what happens. What happened with my Mass Effect 3 ending. They work together. Because that's what the happy ending mod does. <laughs> Shadow Broker. Barla Bond says you're looking for me. It's hmm. not every day in XN7 looks for the Shadow Broker. Anything can be had, provided you can pay. Especially when the tech involves artificial intelligence. The council will have specters all over my ass if the cats win in this. Translation, I'll get you the code you want, but the price just doubled. If you try to renege, I've got people. People with guns. So, okay. Off now to next side quest area. Hey, Kandros. How are you doing? Need some help. <laughs> No news on the Turian Arc yet. Or is this militia business? Uh, stasis protesters. I need to talk to you about stasis revival and those protesters in hydroponics. I see. Maybe I should get the others for this. <laughs> protesters have seized hydroponics? They want their families out of stasis. The outpost on Eos disrupted the schedule. They're scattered across colony blocks. Dozens of people. The protesters want this fixed today. The realities of our position are... We can't wake those families. We don't have the resources, and there's nowhere to put them. That is a bit true, yes. We only just got on our feet. Plus, it messes up the schedule again. What do you suggest? Leave the families in stasis where it's safe, and get those protesters out of hydroponics. Mm -hmm. They seem sympathetic, but so did the exiles. We can't risk another revolt. Survival is more important than family reunions. So, how would you move them? What would you do with the protesters? I'd send in a squad and march them out. At gunpoint, if we must. Ooh. If they resist, a few might land in medbay, but it's better than losing hydroponics. Or the Nexus. Are the protesters dangerous? Do you think these protests could turn violent? We're all pioneers. Even civilians are tough enough to start something. And interfering in hydroponics threatens our oxygen supply. They know that. Mm, crap. And the protests, or just let them be. We need hydroponics, but we don't want to look like dicks. Uh, we need hydroponics. We have to look at the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. Get them out of there. Kangros? I'll send in a team, but it might go smoother if Ryder's there. A good idea. Sometimes we okay. have to give bad okay. news. That's a Pathfinder's duty, too. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, cool, we did that, and also, I believe we forgot to go and get ourselves, and it's over here. Wait, what? Drunk? Can you even sue? 
probably a new job in this galaxy, but yes, here we go. Archive system. Okay, we got ourselves a movie. <laughs> now off to the protesters. Oh, shit, there we go. Straight away. Just stand down, ma'am. Or you'll shoot me. Good luck explaining that to my grandchildren. There. What happened? She was about to disconnect the water hoses, threaten all the plants. They're saying the leaders won't wake our families. Well, this is how far we're willing to go. Their move. I'm sorry. I know this is hard, but for the good of the Nexus, we need you to be patient. Yes. We've already waited. How old will I be by the time Mom's out of stasis? Take it easy, kid. The Pathfinder's got a point. I'll go off station if I have to. I'll find anyone who'll actually do something. I'll break your mom's heart. You want your mom to wake up and find you exiled or dead? I... Reese, don't. Anything's better than that. Even the longest wait of our lives. When our families hear about this, they'll probably agree with the Pathfinder. You're done here. Come on. Nice. It resolved peacefully. Woohoo. Now that everything's done here in the Nexus, off to Eos and see the Asari refugees. And if the planet is viable. Not, I mean, well, more viable. It's already viable, but we want it to be more. Pathfinder. So I can explore more of the area. Woohoo. Aha! Uh, -huh. uh, crap, we actually got a new message from Cora. <clears throat> writings of Sarissa Theris. I know you're busy, but Sarissa's manuals and writings really are worth reading if you got some downtime, especially. <laughs> words. I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> yes, I will probably read that after. Anyway, off we go to Eos. I remember these being the drone shot that shows the area. Let's see if it's alright. Back where we really started. Yes. Fine. What's new in our first home? The cats still maintain a presence. Skirmishes are frequent, and travel requires caution. Mm -hmm. I've got a cure for that. Next. Yes. The atmosphere continues to clear, but radioactive hazards pool in some areas. Study is ongoing. Okay. And remnants remain active on the surface, but also as detected by seismic readings. Ooh. Point of contact for all this? Your people, Pathfinder. Prodromos is expanding, with all the trials and discovery that building an outpost represents. Grounded in research. All data about newly accessible EOS is from their work. Well, nice. let's make sure it gets the attention it deserves. Yes. Oh, that's right, yeah, me and Korra to... The hell's that? What the hell? That thing always been there? This? Is this always way to noise? No. It's getting louder somewhere. Ah, oh, never mind. Off to those some side quests. Starting over here. Okay. Rider. It is a terminal site quest. Prodromo Supplies Report. Uh, Prodromo Supplies Log begins. Shrinkage from our survey team supplies. Okay. Alright. Nav points of lost supplies noted, Pathfinder. Not busting our tails on viability to let resources go so easy. Yeah. Let's check it out. Yeah. Got ourselves another terminal here. Lost drones. Okay. All right. Look out for that. Find all the drones. Okay. Also, hey, August Bradley. Pathfinder. Like? If you have a moment, Hanley could use your eyes on something. 
Okay. Honestly, I'm not sure what's going on, but she'll fill you in. Okay, I'm guessing that's what the... We'll talk another time. Side that quest there is. Pain leader. Oh. And I'm guessing it's just here. Pain leader. Hey. Just who I was looking for. Nice. What's the ah, problem? Pathfinder. I hear you're to thank for a physics-defying atmosphere processor. That's me. I'm Ryder. Hanley Abrams, Director of Scientific Research on EOS, and writer of papers that start what the hell weather. But, new galaxy, new world, and a really new start. Gotta keep up. How can I help you? Um, well, you wanted help. What kind of research are you working on? Your basic first in scientific work, soil, water, atmospherics, plus studying remnant tech, because now I need to understand that to survive here. Okay. Conditions on EOS. Activating that vault changed the planet. Anything to worry about? Considering its world-altering technology we've never encountered before, I hope not. But the storms show no signs of returning, and I know who to contact for remnant tech support. I'll take it. Okay. And uh, Bradley. What do you make of Lieutenant Bradley? Determined as hell. And he has incredible faith in us to get this done. Bradley would carry this outpost on his back if he had to, and will <laughs> make sure he never has to. Okay, cool. So I guess we uh, talk to her go. again. Keep up the good work. Okay, there we go. I guess this is the first time there. we ever talked to her. Did you feel that tremor? We've been tracking major seismic activity lately, but I don't know what's causing it. Something strange is going on out there. Uh, yeah, Eos is a when isn't there? Planet. I solved one mystery on Eos, and three more pop up. This one might be a blessing in disguise. Eos has massive underground rivers we can't tap. But altering those tremors just right mm. might crack the ground for irrigation. Our seismic survey hammers would be perfect. All I need is someone to place them. Um, please? <laughs> survey hammers? What's a seismic survey hammer? Mm -hmm. Fox built them. They punch like a dozen Krogan and cause vibrational changes underground. The hammers mm. give good geophysics data, but honestly... Just like what they have just on, uh, the Chanka. Things that the calls in... What the hell's the giant sandworm thing they have? I'll handle it. You got it. Just tell me where to go. I've yeah, got the areas where the tremors seem centered. <laughs> Trigger the hammers there. Just be careful. The tremors are getting worse. Anything else before you go? Uh, no, that's all. I've got to go. Yeah. Keep up the good work. Woohoo. Now I'll have to do these side quests all over Eos. Hey, here we go, finally. Ooh, container. Oh, a terminal. Okay, yeah, I've uh, read those. A hey, person. Armed and armored. Good for you. I could have used that ordinance a few weeks ago. I'm Ryder, the human pathfinder. Lieutenant Harper. We're looking for the Asari Ark. So am I. Watching the skies every day, praying they survived the cat. Damn. Lucky At escape. least you and these others made it out. Mm -hmm. Only just. Our clothes were still smoldering. What happened? The Ket chased our Ark across the cluster. But these weren't their regular soldiers. They were hunters. Elite killers. Bastards. What are they hunting? Being hunted by an elite anything isn't fun. What were they after? I don't know. I'm a junior. I just do what they tell me. A bridge officer. Sarissa something. Gave the evacuation order. Hundreds of people. All trying to flee. It, it was... Where could we look for the Ark? Mm -hmm. We lost track. But they launched a ship to help evacuees. And her crew would know. You'd have to find her. Follow the transponder, maybe. We'll do. Consider it done. Focus on taking care of yourselves. The ship's called the Parafona. I'll give you her transponder codes and last flight plan. Thank okay. you. It's... Good to see the cat aren't the only ones winning. Nice. Awesome. We have some scavenger animals in our lost oh, supply shit, crates. What the hell? Burst enabled. These idiots. They're over there. Quick mess to clean up. Not getting okay. any of the supplies back this way, though. Seems okay. 
Okay, got this. Sam, are you sure about this? Yes, Pathfinder. The crates were opened using standard protocols. It's unlikely the local fauna could have accomplished this. They're bugs, Sam. They didn't do it. More data is required to be definitive, Pathfinder. You're a real machine okay. sometimes, Sam. Okay. More animals on our lost supply crates. This confirms it. The crates were opened first, then bait placed. By who? By whom? And more data is required to be certain. Mm -hmm. I'll have to find more of this data. Headlights. And we got ourselves a look from our outposts. And an arc escape pod? Where did they get that? Yes, stay sharp. Doesn't matter. They're not keeping it. We yes, need enough close and uh, we're surrounded. This area. What the hell is this place? Ooh. Shit, it's a terminal. And yeah, shit, there's the Watching drop the pods. These caves could be a good shelter if people need it. At least it's cooler in here. Yes, but uh, it's full of geth. No, not geth, keth, ket. <laughs> Ryder, ket constructs ahead. Mm hmm. I know. We're looking at God damn. Yeah, there. Looks like they found it drifting and brought it here. I'm not able to extrapolate point of origin, Pathfinder. Damn. But the Ark could be intact, like the Hyperion. Mm -hmm. Let's hope so. Alright. Off to more side quests. You're a long way from the flock, little duck. Little duck? Who is this? What the hell? Someone who's got work for you. <gasps> Come to my nav point, if you think you're up for it. Don't want to keep him waiting. Little duck. That is not becoming a thing. Uh, I'm happy. Oh, shit. 
Sounds like we've already had an effect. Oh. Off to go see who this person calling us little duck is. Exactly. I can't believe I didn't realize it sooner who this person was. Animals on our missing crates again. Same as before. Where? Oh, Automated protocols activated. Deploying Get ready to fight! Cleared. Picked clean like the others. Huh. Sam, the scan says the drops were scheduled so no one would be around. Delivery data was corrupted intentionally. Possibly to avoid confrontation during the theft. Thieves with hearts of gold. Circulatory determinations will require more data, Pathfinder. Okay, but the. Uh, yeah, look at these wind turbines. Radioactive in that area. This is a place on where. Things. The mayor's idea. Because we have to press on. Politicians. Always helpful. This is where the person is telling us to go. Well, well. Glad you decided to show. Masani. Is this your handiwork? abso fucking lootly. Name's Bane Masani. Cat hunting's a hobby of mine. Yeah, mine too. We should start a club. <laughs> <laughs> Eos is the perfect spot for it. Planet's a cat magnet. I've been tracking them down, marking locations to target. Barracks. Power generator. Com tower. I thought you'd lend a hand to protect that shiny new outpost of yours. I'll do whatever I can to keep Prodromo safe. Oh, Glad to hear it. Sending nav points to your Omni tool. Oh. Eventually, we'll want to hit the Crown Jewel, their main base. 
But I don't think you're ready for that yet. No point in being reckless. I'll cut my teeth on the smaller targets. Smart man. Mm -hmm. Happy hunting, Pathfinder. So, uh, yeah, Masani, last name. Bit of a relationship with the main character of the original trilogy. Zaid. It's Zaid's son. <laughs> you obviously weren't a cat hunter back in the Milky Way. Mm -hmm. No, I worked in the private security sector. Pay was good, but the job bored me. A buddy of mine told me about the initiative. Thought it'd be a hell of an adventure. Bring any family with you? <laughs> hell no. My mom died when I was a kid. Never met my father. Heard he was a big time merc. All I know is he gave me his name and nothing else. <laughs> nice. You didn't come to EOS with Bradley's team. Mm -hmm. No, I'm one of Tan's scary exiles. Left the Nexus after the uprising. Oh. Been planet hopping ever since, hunting Ket. Okay, cool. Uh, hates Ket? Not sure anyone likes the Ket, but you really seem to hate them. What can <laughs> I say? They're ugly. And I'm a man about aesthetics. Okay, tell me about the uprising. Why did you join the uprising? Yeah. Didn't like how they played God, deciding who woke up when. So, I played Mutineer, and things didn't pan out. I went my own way. You didn't want to stay with the other exiles? Honestly, most exiles are arseholes, and not the lovable kind. <laughs> okay. And the cat. Why do you think the cat are drawn to Eos? Yes. In my experience, they go wherever those weird-ass structures are. No idea why. I gave up questioning the damn things. Better to just put a bullet in their head. Cool, yeah. We'll see you around. Stay safe, Masani. Indeed. That's the goal. Masani. <laughs> Zaid Masani's son. My god. Alright, so we already did some stuff to this. Time to do some more. Get the actual main entrance. Let's see if we got any stragglers. Seems like we do. Go oh, down, container. Big ass one. A big ass container. Why is it so dark? Oh, there is an enemy somewhere. It's inside here. Okay. This does something. <laughs> Deactivating this place. Don't remember which part this is. These can't be the only generators the cat brought. Given the large cat presence on here, yes. I would agree, Pathfinder. We'll just keep shutting them down as we find them. Giving shield assist! <laughs> As in those places as well? And anyway, right now it's just telling us to destroy your barracks. I guess this is gonna. You know what? Yeah. I know just what to do. End the video here. <laughs> That's right, this is where we're leaving us off. Next episode, we're gonna continue our journey around new Eos. Oh, how's that? Item? Can't be. Anyway, yeah, that's what we'll do in the next episode, so as for now, goodbye. Until next time.